classical free electron theory. Classical free electron theory was proposed by Lawrence, scientists called Lawrence and Drew in the year, in the year 1900, in the year 1900. After the discovery of electrons, this Lawrence and Drew took an attempt to explain the thermal conductivity and the electrical conductivity of metals based on certain free electrons. That is why it is called as classical free electron theory. That is what after the invention of electrons, Lawrence and Drew took an attempt to prove the electrical and thermal conductivity or to explain the electrical and thermal conductivity of the metals based on certain free electrons present inside the metal. So that is why this theory is called as classical free electron theory. So according to this theory, according to this theory, before the application of the electric field, that is if you consider as a metal, so in case of metals, the conductivity is mainly due to number of free electrons present, that is the number of valency electrons. So before the application of the field, all these electrons will move freely in random, can move freely in random within the boundary of this specimen, within the boundary of this specimen. So, these free electrons will collide each other, these free electrons and ions will collide each other without any loss of energy. Therefore, the total energy is purely kinetic energy, the potential energy is zero, whereas it, pro it possesses only the kinetic energy. So on the application of the electric field, on the application of the electric field, suppose this is a metal specimen, before the application of the electric field, what happens? All the electrons are moving in random direction. So after applying an electric field, what happens? All these electrons move or aligned opposite to the direction of the applied electric field. So based on this only, based on these two postulates only, classical free electron theory can explain, took an attempt to explain the thermal and electrical conductivity of the space, electrical conductivity of metals. Drift. So before driving an expression for the thermal conductivity and the electrical conductivity of metals, we should know some basic definitions. The first one is called as drift velocity and it is represented by V suffix D, V D. This is what is called drift velocity. So drift velocity means the average velocity acquired by an electron in a particular direction on the application of the electric field. That is what is called drift velocity. So what is drift velocity? That is the average velocity acquired by an electron in a particular direction on the application of the electric field. That is what is called drift velocity and it is re represented by V suffix D. Next is mobility and it is represented by the Roman letter mu. Roman letter mu. Mobility is the av uh, average drift velocity acquired by the electron per unit electric field. Per unit electric field. That is what is called mobility. So what is mobility? Mobility is the average drift velocity acquired by the electron per unit electric field. Next is relaxation time and it is represented by the letter tau. By the letter tau. The time taken by the electron to come back to its equilibrium position after disturbance on the application of the electric field. That is what is called relaxation time. So what is relaxation time? The time taken by the electron to come back to its equilibrium position after disturbance due to the application of the electric field. That is what is called tau. That is what is called relaxation time and it is represented by the Roman letter tau. So these are some of the basic definitions which will be essential in deriving the electrical and thermal conductivity of metals.